it does ding and it has a carriage, but it's not a typewriter. And you can only write words like boobs with it. This is a type of pinwheel calculator. To set a number, you slide a lever and the same amount of pins pop up. These pins can interact with the counter, allowing the mechanism to make mathematical operations like addition and subtraction. Add the revolution counter in the mix and now you can do multiplication and division as well. The pinwheel design is relatively old. The first mechanism with similarities was first described in 1685. This one isn't that old. This is an Odna Model 7. The first number of the serial number is the model number. Between 1937 and 1940, machines with serial numbers from 140,001 to 165,000 were produced. So this machine is probably from 1937. A link to the page with the serial numbers can be found in the description of this video. The first working Odna prototype was built in 1875 by Wilgot Theophil Odna. The real mass production of this machine started in 1890 in the Odna workshop in St. Petersburg. This became the first commercially successful pinwheel calculator. Wilgot died in 1905 and his son Alexander took over the business. After the Russian Revolution, the company was nationalized and the production machinery was moved to Moscow. Alexander moved to Sweden and restarted the company from scratch. The company ownership changed hands several times and eventually ended up being owned by Advita Berg Industrier, which also owned Facit. By 1973, the market for mechanical calculators had collapsed. Just to give you an idea how long these mechanical and electromechanical calculating devices served engineers, accountants, and other professional number crunchers worldwide. Back to this lovely machine. It's obviously a well-used machine. Lots of paintware. I'm not good at repainting, so I decided to leave it as it is and embrace the patina. When I got this machine, it was completely seized. The numbers in the result register and the revolution register were completely black with film. The insides looked like something had died in there. I took it apart as far as I dared, cleaned and flushed everything. And now it is operational again. Save for one small defect. The far right setting pin doesn't ratchet, it. But I'm impressed that it otherwise still works, knowing where it came from. This machine is slightly more complicated than the Adimult I talked about in one of my earlier videos. So a short tour of the machine is in order. This is the input or setting register. By moving these levers, the corresponding number of pins is raised to interact with each revolution with the result register. On this machine, the result register has a carryover function. The revolution register doesn't. Both registers are mounted on a carriage that can be moved. This button moves it one space to the right and this one moves it one space to the left. The middle button is the carriage release, allowing you to move the entire carriage freely. These sliders can be used to indicate decimals, so you can correctly read all the registers when you are dealing with large numbers. This crank handle is used to turn the pinwheels. The crank handles on the carriage reset the result register and the revolution register. This slider can be used to reset the numbers on the input register to zero. And this button does the same, but you only need one hand. One thing is important to remember. Once you start the revolution, you need to follow through. Otherwise the machine might jam. Another neat thing I discovered whilst cleaning this machine is that this peg inside here triggers a mechanism that locks the numbers in place when you start cranking. This makes sure those set pins don't start shifting during the calculation. Time to crank out some numbers. Addition is fairly straightforward. Let's say I want to know what 338 plus 999 is. I set the 338 in the setting register and crank the handle to carry it over to the results register. Now I enter the 999 and repeat. The result can now be read from the result register. Subtraction is a similar operation. I'll reset the revolution register first. And I also reset the entry register. I'm going to subtract 671 from the 1337. 
I set the 671 in the setting register and turn the handle in the opposite direction. Hello, Daddy! Two things have happened. I have accidentally summoned the beast, or one of his minions, and you can see that a red number appears. This second occurrence has nothing to do with the number of the beast, it's just an indication that I'm subtracting numbers instead of adding them. So far I haven't done anything that I couldn't do as fast as doing it with this addy mode, but where I need to start looking up numbers in tables when I wanted to multiply things with the addy mode, I can just crank away on this machine. I think I'm going to multiply 37 times 18. The fastest result is obtained by setting the number with the highest sum of its digits first. So 37 is set. And now I need to crank the lever 9 times. 8 times for the units. Next step is moving the carriage one step to the right and crank once more for the tens. Hello daddy! Darn it! I did it again! Now I have two demonic entities roaming in my house. Anyway, you can see the 18 in the revolutions register. I could have just cranked 18 times, but then my revolution register wouldn't be correct since it doesn't carry over. And it would have taken me twice as long. Now for the last regular operation, division. To do division, I need to move the carriage all the way to the right. First, I'm going to set my other number of the day, 1337. And now I'm going to divide it by 191. You can already see that it won't work, because 191 is larger than 133. I'm going to give it a go to demonstrate another feature of this machine. When you go over the limit of the result register, a bell will ring. Just turn once in the opposite direction and it's like it never happened. 191 is larger than 133, so I need to move the carriage one space to the left. Oh boy, here I go again. Oops, too far. And the result is 7! Well, that's about it for demonstrating this fabulous mechanical marvel. I've left a link in the description to a manual where you can find other interesting operations such as square roots. Massive shout out to my two kids who indulged me in my dad jokes and uh, I hope you have a nice day. Bye!